Hey, what's happening there, folks? G the Hat Guy here, back with another video. Okay, as you see uh, on the thumbnail, it says Sewn Hemp or Panama Straw. Okay, so we're going to talk about the difference between the two. The Sewn Natural Hemp or the uh, Hand Woven uh, Panama Straw. Okay, okay, in the previous video, I did a, uh, a connection between the uh, uh, Panama Straw and the Paper Straw. This one is the difference between the Sewn Hemp or the Panama Straw. Okay, they're both natural types of straw. Okay, with the hemp straw, okay, uh, you're looking at something like this here. It's all hand woven. Okay, I'm gonna get closer for you. Uh, if you see, you look very closely. This in the turquoise. It's got the stitches in there. So these come in bundle, and they hand they 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 sew uh, stitch them by machine. They sew. Them. It's all hand sewn. Okay, by machine. Okay, on this particular hat, it's a uh, short brim uh fedora hat on this here okay it's got the teardrop top there two pinches in your front okay it's got a uh beige uh hat band on it okay and a hat binding on the edge there it's all uh like i said if you look at the weave there you will see that the uh the hemp store there you see that it, it's all sewn you see the stitches machine sewn they come in bundles and the, and they're sewn but it's a natural straw Okay, it's from the hemp plant. Okay, they have another one called uh, Mylan hemp. Is the common name that some manufacturers put on them. It's actually made from propylene, which is a type of uh, uh, poly type product. You know, it's, it's, it's artificial product. Okay, um, uh, so that's made from propylene. So there's a difference between the natural hemp straw and the the Mylan hemp. Some people they they tend to call the natural one Mylan hemp as well. But what you want to find out is is it the natural one? Take a closer look. Is he sewn? Uh, uh, the, the artificial one, I guess, I think it does have stitches in there too. Uh, it might be sewn. Uh, I don't have one of those available right now that I can show you. But uh, like I said, there is there is a, a difference between the two. This is the natural one. Okay, they come in bundles and it's machine sewn. Okay. Um, as opposed to the uh, artificial one that's called a commonly called a myelin hemp but some manufacturers they call the natural one myelin hemp as well what you want to know is is it the natural one or the artificial the artificial one feels like plastic when you touch it when you look at it it's kind of glossy looking they do a lot of two-tone color hats with them some famous manufacturers out there i'm not going to put anybody's name out there whatnot you know because i'm really not trying to promote anybody right now so but uh, yeah, you know, so when you look at it, it looks like plastic. When you feel on it and everything, it looks like plastic. That's how you can tell by the eye. And when you touch it, this one is natural, okay? It's not glossy, it's not shiny looking, okay? Uh, th this is a natural uh, myelin hemp here. Almost kind of looks like paper straw in a way, but this is myelin hemp, okay? This one's got a nice leather band on the inside there, as you can see. Uh, you know, it says woven hemp. You see that? It says woven hemp okay so this is a natural the natural one not the uh not the propylene uh one like i said you know and then it, here's another natural hemp here okay in the mustard yellow color okay it's it's you take a closer look you see the stitches in there okay uh this is natural as well okay this is about a two two and a quarter inch brim it's got a multicolor band i think it's got a couple bands sewn into one there Okay, uh, fedora hat. Okay, it's got the center dent, two pictures in the front. Uh, this one here, let's see. Uh, it's got elastic sweatband on the inside there. But yeah, this is, uh, you know, this is uh, mining. Uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, natural hemp as well. Okay, come they come in bundles in different colors and they're sewn. Uh, you know, there is a heavy production that comes from China for these as well. And then they might sew them in the U.S. or sew them overseas, depending on the manufacturer, okay? And then you've got your Panama straw, okay, uh, you know, which is natural as well. It's all hand-woven, and they come in different grades, from grade 1 Panama to like a grade 20, okay? The higher the grade, the higher the quality, okay? Uh, this is about a grade 8 Panama straw. It's got the center dent, two pictures in the front, vintage band on it, okay? Uh, and again, like I said, with the Panamas, you would have the stamp on the inside, like I mentioned in my previous video, uh, between Panamas and Paper Store. So it's got that stamp. It says uh, made in Ecuador. 
whatnot. That, that brown stamp typically is in there. And then you might have a sticker as well. And then I'll show you another Panama that I handmade. One of the uh, my hats that I made here. Uh, it's a wide brim, flat brim. You know, sunny dance. Got a teardrop top. Two pinches in the front. Vintage band. Okay, sewn brim. Okay. Uh, and this one has got the sticker. It's got the uh, handmade in Ecuador. Handwoven in Ecuador. Okay. Sticker in there. And then it also has got the brown. Uh, you can see that. Uh, let me get a closer look here for you. You can see that stamp right there. It's got the brown stamp. It's the same the same crown that's there that is stamped there for that logo to show that it's a genuine handmade in Ecuador uh, Panama uh, straw, whatnot. You know, so again, this is the hat that I made. It's all handmade, hand sewn, hand woven, hand crafted, you know, in, a, in this uh, light yellow color here. Uh, but yeah, so again, that's the main thing between the two. You have the Panama, it's a natural handwoven store in Ecuador. You also have the uh, the uh, hemp store, you know, that is uh, hand sewn. Uh, you know, typically, I'm sorry, uh, it's, it's sewn by machine. They come in bundles, okay? The hemp stores, they come in bundles, and they typically were sold in by machine. This one has got a vintage band on it. Um, like I said, in a nice uh, mustard yellow color. You know, they have them in different colors. And uh, some of your top hat manufacturers in the business, you know, they actually uh, have them made. You know, uh, uh, maybe they will import the uh, raw material, the hemp in bundles, and then they will just sew them together in their factory here in the U.S. Um, you know, so, yeah, I know some of the manufacturers that do that. And then some other manufacturers, they have them all sewn overseas. And then they will bring them, uh, you know, in China, et cetera, and then they'll bring them into the U.S., whatnot. Uh, but, again, here's a nice turquoise one here. Uh, short brim. It's got the edge binding on it. Okay, it's got the beige band, you know, teardrop top, two pictures in the front. Hey, folks, now is a good time to go ahead and subscribe to the channel with G, the hat guy. i uh, got great, awesome hat content coming your way. Like, share, comment. Okay, share the video with uh, anybody else that uh, you think can benefit from this man or woman who's into hat to hat man or a hat woman. Uh, share it on Facebook, Instagram, uh, you know, TikTok, wherever you want to share it. Share it on YouTube. Okay, I really appreciate all the uh, subscribers, all the viewers of the video. Got great, awesome hat content coming your way. Uh, hoping to uh, hit the road sometime soon here to bring you awesome hat content. Uh, from being on the road, okay, we're going to share a lot of uh, great, awesome content about, you know, hats, different topics, you know, hat uh, hat fun, hat, in, uh, hat entertainment. I'm a huge fan of music as well. Maybe we'll kind of showcase some, uh, some of that, you know, around the hats, that type of thing, you know, as well. So uh, I really appreciate the time. Thank you for watching the video. And, uh, you know, probably the next video will bring you some more comparisons you know, between uh, different types of material uh, in regards to, uh, you know, hats, etc. cetera. Uh, so, yeah, that's the main thing. Again, like I said, with the Panamas, they go from a grade 1 to about a grade 20, you know. Uh, something like this that's between a grade 3 and a grade uh, 5 might cost you, uh, uh, I mean, this is all handmade. If it was factory made, I said probably might cost you uh, somewhere between... Uh, you know, about a hundred and uh thirty to about a hundred and uh, you know sixty somewhere around there, uh is what it will cost you. You know, something again between a grade three and a grade five is what you'll be looking at. The hemp too, the natural stuff tends to cost more, you know, than the uh the artificial stuff like the paper artificial paper straw or the toyo straw. Okay, the hemp straw uh and the uh the Panama straws, they tend to co cost more. Uh, so uh, now the Mylan hemp, which, like I said, you know, that's more made, made out of propylene material as opposed to the natural hemp material like this one. That's plastic. The, the uh, Mylan hemp, typically uh, that is plastic, okay? When you feel it, you touch it, you take a look at it, and, they, and it's waterproof because it's plastic, okay? So make sure you know what you're getting for your money, that it's natural hemp, it's higher quality, uh, me, myself, you know, I try to wear 
hemp in Panama. That's it for my summer hats. I do have some few, uh, you know, uh, maybe one paper straw, you know, like the uh, 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 blue one that I showed earlier or uh, yeah, or the uh, the brown chocolate one that I showed in the previous video as well. That was a Toyo straw. Those are well, personal ones that I acquired several years ago. So, um, but going forward, you know, I deal in nothing but Panama straws, you know, and hemp straws. I prefer the natural uh, material, uh, whatnot, as opposed to the artificial stuff, you know, uh, you know, because I like the better quality. I don't, you know, the cheaper stuff. I'm not really into just my personal taste, you know. So, uh, yeah. So that's what you want to keep in mind. Make sure you're getting you know, what you're paying for as far as the Panama goes, like I said, from grade one to grade 20, a grade 20 can probably cost you, uh, wow. You know, if it's custom made, I mean, I've heard hats that cost as much as $25,000. There's a custom made guy out there that online that he does all custom, everything all custom. And he sold, I think they sold to a celebrity, you know, for about 25 grand or something. He told me maybe it was some kind of fundraiser that we're doing or something, you know, but a grade 20 typically, will cost you maybe anywhere between uh, fifteen hundred dollars, uh, you know, and and, and uh, uh, maybe uh, two thousand dollars, you know, twenty five hundred something. If you're not paying for, you know, name and all that other stuff, you know, whatnot. So, uh, could be a little bit more than that, you know, maybe about twenty five hundred to three grand, you know, depending on the brand. So, uh, but uh, again, depends on the quality. Is it a Monte Cristi? Monte Cristi. Panama, you know, uh, depending on what company is coming from again, you know, uh, with the Panama's, you get tequila straw, Panama straw, you have the, uh, Cuenca, uh, you know, you have Monte Cristi Panama, you know, as well. So it depends, you know, which type of Panama as well, you know, and then the weave on it, you know, with the Panama in the, in the previous video, I had mentioned again, like I said, the smaller the weave, okay. On it. Okay. The smaller the weave, the higher quality, the wide, wider the weave, the uh, the lower quality it is. Okay, uh, this one here that's a grade uh, that's a grade eight. You know, this typically will cost anywhere between uh, that one fifty to about one, you know, about one seventy somewhere around there is what you're looking at. You know, between that one between one forty and one seventy somewhere around there. Okay, all right, folks. Thank you very much for your time. Subscribe, like, share, comment. I engage in the comments and uh yeah share something with me thank you for your time appreciate it bye